The quest for equality and dignity and independence on full display today at the state capitol, where persons with disabilities gathered to make themselves heard. John Croman is at the capitol tonight with more about the priorities of the disabilities community. Hi, John. You know, the message is really about inclusion and representation because a lot of parts of the state budget here affect those people who are looking for help with employment and with just dignity and independence. Now, today, earlier, we caught up with a couple who've been literally wheeling around the Capitol for years, making the case, advocating for small changes that can make a big difference in the lives of those trying to live independently. Nikki Villa Vicencio knows her way around the state capitol. Although the way she goes about it may be different, there's very little that slows her down when she's here advocating for persons with disabilities. If we lift up the most marginalized people, the rest of the world will be better. You know, it's not like, oh, those people over there, they need those special things. It's not about that. Sorry, I'm going downhill. I don't want to get anybody. Oh, hey, yeah. Nikki is a Maplewood City Council member and the chair of the Minnesota Council on Disability. Thank you. Her partner, Daryl Paulson, has been advocating for disability rights here for 30 years. When Nikki and I first met each other 14 years ago at, the, at this very Capitol, there was only a handful of folks that would even come up to the Capitol and lobby about issues that they cared about. To live independently, they rely on people like Robin in the purple hoodie. She's one of the PCAs or personal care attendants who help persons with disabilities live their own lives. One of the bills pending at the Capitol would, for the first time, pay PCAs for the time they spend driving their clients. They have to technically go off the clock to be able to drive their clients um, and then just pretend they're friends that for those few minutes, not get paid, and then, you know, um, clock back in. So it's because it's not a, it's not a, it's a liability and it's not a Medicaid covered service. We love you, Governor Walls. Listen to us. What drew them and others to the Capitol on this particular day was the Disability Advocacy Day rally in the Rotunda. The fight for money, for equity, continues 32 years after the Americans with Disabilities Act became law. But here's the thing that history teaches us. We aren't going away and the future is disabled. Having the ability to come together as a community, it, it means so much to my heart. I actually started tearing up during the rally. What you see here today at the Capitol, I started that in 1992 with Senator Metzen. You know, being disabled in any community can feel very isolating and um, adding all the, the strain of COVID and the shortage of workers and, and the care that we all need has um, made us feel lonely. And so coming together today at the Capitol just felt so great. Now here's your Valentine's story. Nikki and Daryl met at a rally here at the Capitol 14 years ago. 10 years ago, they had a daughter and they've been involved in the parenting with the disability movement, uh, basically making the point that you can uh, be in a wheelchair and still raise a child successfully. So there you go. Back to you, Jana. All right. Great story. Thank you so much, John. Let's hope they get the help that they are seeking.